Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Recently I am getting a lot of messages about inline checkout. So today I am going to show you everything you need to do uh, to integrate to checkout with WordPress using inline method. First I will show you how the inline checkout looks like. Uh, so you can see here uh, this is how it looks like. It looks more professional uh, with more easy and more amazing interface. And I am sure it will increase uh, the conversion rates. And even the buyer can purchase uh, using uh, PayPal directly from here. But this is a paid plugin. You need to purchase this plugin, and it cost twenty nine dollar for now. I'll show you everything step by step. Uh, first, I'll show you how to purchase and download the plugin. Uh, then I'll show you how to uh, install and activate the plugin. And then I'll show you how to integrate uh, it with WooCommerce. And finally, I'll show you how the transaction goes. Uh, by doing a real transaction okay so let's jump into the video first we need to purchase the plugin uh, when you are watching this video uh, there you will find the link uh, so you can click on the first link to purchase the plugin and then you will be redirected to this uh, checkout page here write your email address and then click here and continue you have to write your correct email address because uh, you will receive the download link into your email address Again click here and continue. Here choose the payment method you want to use. Uh, you can choose either PayPal or card option. I'll choose here pay by card option. Here you have to write your card holder name and then card number. Expiry date. And CBP code. And then click on pay. After the transaction is completed, uh, you will see this notification, your transaction has been completed successfully. We have emailed you uh, details of your order. Okay, so I will go to my email address. You can see here, there are two mails, uh, they sent to me and then I will click on this second email. Okay. You can see here, download and then click here on download to download this plugin. So you can see a download process at the bottom of the page. Okay, so you have successfully purchased uh, and downloaded the plugin. Next step is to install and activate this plugin. So to install and activate the plugin, uh, go to your WordPress dashboard. Now go to the plugins and click here on add new. Click here on upload plugin and then choose file. Now choose the file that you just uh, purchased and downloaded uh, this one. Okay, and then click on open. Now click here on install now. After it is installed, click on activate. So you have successfully installed and activated the plugin. Now let's move to the third step that is to configure uh, to check out from WooCommerce settings. So go to WooCommerce and then click here on settings. Now click here on payments. You can see here to check out inline checkout option. Okay. First I will click here to enable it. And then I'll click here on setup. Here we have to enter these uh, two things. The first one is account number, and the second one is secret code. So to find this information, open your to checkout account. Uh, so this is my to checkout account. Now I will click here on integrations. Okay. Now when you scroll down, you can see here your merchant code. Uh, so this is our account number. I'll copy this merchant code by clicking this small button. Okay, and then I'll go to the WooCommerce settings and then paste it here under account number. Now for this secret code, let me go to the to checkout. When you scroll down, you can see our secret code. Okay, so we need this one instant notification service secret code or INS uh, secret code. I'll click here on I button to see the secret code and then click on this button to copy the secret code into the clipboard again i'll go to woocommerce settings and then i'll paste it here under the secret code and then i'll click here on save changes okay now let's move to the next step that is to configure uh, to checkout settings so again go to to checkout scroll down to here uh, redirect url section and then tick here on enable uh, return after sale option click here on uh, return method and then select header uh, redirect 
now here uh, we have to uh, write one url okay now click on the second link in the description box uh, below this video that you are watching now and then you will be redirected to this page actually this is the blog post for integrating to check out with woocommerce okay now scroll down up to here step 4 and then you can see our approved url link so i'll copy this link from here and then go to to check out and then i'll paste it here under approved url section but here you have to change this one uh, your site.com with your own domain name uh, for example i'll write here keyful.com and then click here on update you can see here uh, notice saying configuration saved successfully now we need to make some changes under the instant uh, notification service so let me scroll up from here and then click here on ins settings now again click here on add endpoint here we have to enter endpoint name and endpoint uh, url so again go to this uh, same blog post again copy this same url from step number four here and then i'll copy it from here and then go to the to check out and paste it here under the endpoint name again change uh, this one your site.com uh, with your domain name.com okay i'll write here keyful.com as an example again i'll copy this same url from here and then i'll paste uh, it here under the endpoint url and then click here and save endpoint so you can see your information has been successfully saved now let's move to the next step that is to enable some of the trigger list uh, we'll enable this uh, order created fraud status changed invoice status changed and refund issued okay so first of all click here and edit under the uh, order created now scroll down from here tick here on enabled tick here on uh, available endpoint and click on this blue button so that uh, you can see here it has been transferred to the uh, selected endpoint again scroll down uh, and then click here on select all for all these parameters okay you can see here all these parameters has been selected and then click here on save triggers you can see here notice saying trigger successfully saved again click on uh, ins settings here to go back okay now again scroll down from here click on edit for fraud status changed now scroll down from here tick here on enabled tick here under available endpoint and click on this blue button so that uh, it will be transferred to the selected endpoint again scroll down now click here and select all for all these parameters and then click on save triggers you can see here notice uh, triggers successfully saved again click here on ins settings uh, to go back from here now let me scroll down from here click on edit uh, for this one uh, invoice status changed now scroll down from here tick on enabled tick here on available endpoints and click on this uh, blue button again scroll down from here and then and then click here on select all for all these parameters okay and then click on save triggers now click here on ins settings uh, to go back from here again scroll down from here and then i'll click here on edit under the refund issued okay now scroll down from here uh, tick here on enabled tick here under available endpoints and click here on blue button uh, so you can see here it has been transferred to the selected endpoints okay again scroll down uh, and then click here on uh, select all uh, for all these parameters and then finally click here and save triggers so we have done with all the settings and configurations now i will do the real transaction to show you how it looks like or how the transaction goes okay so i'll open the new tab and go to the website and then i'll scroll down from here and then okay i'll choose uh, this product and then i'll click here on add to cart option now uh, i will scroll up and then click here on checkout so that i can go to the checkout page of the website okay now let me scroll down from here 
on the right hand side you can see a uh, credit card option it means uh, to check out is integrated into our website now i'll click here and proceed to payment again let me scroll down and then i'll click here and pay through to check out option okay you can see our pop-up appears uh, so it is how it looks like okay now your buyer can enter uh, their credit card information uh, expiry date uh, CBB code uh, to make the payment they can also pay through PayPal directly from here okay uh, your customer can uh, select the currency from here now I'll write my card number and expiry date uh, CBB code and then I'll click here on pay now here I have to wait for a second I think Okay, finally you can see our payment is done and there is a notice saying uh, thank you for your payment and you can see your uh, order summary. So this was the complete process of integrating to check out with WooCommerce. If you find any value in this video, please share this video so that other person can also take benefit from it. Uh, all the links uh, that I showed in this video are in the description box below. Now if you are having any difficulty in creating to check out account or integrating with uh, WooCommerce, uh, Shopify or WSMCS, you can message us at support at keyful.com.